Oh, I do not feel prepared for this. Why is this guy guy still going so slow? Bloody Flintstoning his ass through. So today is the first photo shoot for Stratum. It's um, first marketing campaign, first advertising campaign. It's my first photo shoot, which, yeah, it's just as surprising for you as it is for me. It's all just very unknown territory, I think. It's all very out of my comfort zone. Feel a little bit out of my depth, but I'm ready to have a solid crack. And even like doing this as well, I've never filmed ever. <laughs> well, would you know what? In lockdown, we did a live and I was that nervous that I got pissed. So I have no idea what we're in for with doing this. But it's more, I just want my clients to kind of be a part of the journey and the experience that is the making of Stratum. So, um, cause I know like a lot of my clients have seen me since I was at home, then with the shop, then the extension. So I thought, why not do one better and have my clients actually get to experience the actual process of making Stratum. So I'm really not doing this to be like a wanker, if you will. Like I don't want to be like, hi guys, welcome to my channel. Watch me make toast. It's more, I just, I'm doing this for my clients and I want my clients to come and just join me and get to see everything firsthand. It's about 5 a.m. now. Steph is coming into the shop at 6 because of course I never organized anything and she's going to glam my ass up. So she's doing hair and makeup and I still don't even know what I'm wearing. Then Tali um, is actually one of my clients and she's going to be like the creative director, the photographer. She is unbloody believable. I still have a little bit more to do for the wall um, and like the, the backdrop, if you will. And then I've got to get my ass into gear because the time is not on my side. So I need to stop chewing your ear off. I need to down my coffee and let's get shit done. Ah. Also, <laughs> excuse what I'm currently wearing. I am. Um, I wear weird shit when I'm first awake. Let me take you up to the room. But the angles just aren't getting better regardless. So this is kind of the vibe of what we're going for for the first campaign. But I still have quite a lot more to go. Fun. 
also, I don't even know if that's filming. Oh, hey, I'm gonna go. Going to be in highway, it's just crazy this time of the afternoon. So it turns out you need to take your camera charger with you when you're taking videos. My camera died, I think, at around 10:30 a.m. So, and I didn't bring my charger. I didn't. I really didn't get much on camera. <laughs> but it was a fabulous day. Got all the photos we wanted to. Um, it's actually a lot harder than I realised. Like, people that get their photos taken, they need more credit. Shit's hard. And it was just so funny. Well, it was actually, it wasn't funny. Tali kept telling me to laugh. I forgot how to laugh. Like, I didn't, I couldn't laugh. And I had to call my friend Sam to tell me jokes and remind me of funny stories. I just, I could not laugh for the life of me. It just felt so fake and forced. And then she was like, even just fake laugh, and then that will trigger a real laugh. So I was just sitting in a room by myself going, ha, 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 ha. Like, it was so awkward. <laughs> it was, I'm getting, I'm cringing now at the thought of it. So poor Tali, she had her work cut out for it. There were that many derp photos. So I think she took like over 720. And out of all of them, I felt like I, I vibed with like 37 of them. <laughs> so yeah, you do the math. The odds weren't in my favor. Except I never get a day off and I really have so much to do for Stratum and I'm getting a massage. But you know, self-care. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, what else is there? Then I'm still looking for packaging options. So tonight, I just can't wait. I'm gonna get this massage. I wanna um, do a bit of a face routine, pop a mask on, suck all my blackheads out. And then I just want to put new fresh gym jams on. I just, there's nothing better for me than a shower, fresh gym jams, hop in a freshly made bed, and I'm going to sit on the laptop and smash out everything I need to do, come up with all the content, write all the stuff I need to write up. Uh, it's just going to be absolutely bliss. Even though there's a little bit of a stress in the back of my mind, I'm not too, I can't worry about it till it happens, but there's talk of another lockdown. So at the moment they've said nothing, but you know, word on the street, there's whispers, there's whispers that there's gonna be another five day snap lockdown. So I can't jump the gun. And I don't really watch the news, so I really don't know what's fact and what's happening and what's not. So I just wait until I get a ton of messages blow up on my phone and then I'm like, okay, shit's hit the fan, something's happened. So until then, I'm not worried, but I'm somewhat starting to prepare for it. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Southland, get my massage and chill the F out. <laughs>